Today we'll be covering player classes, abilities, and all the gear inside the commercial release of Orion Dino Beatdown. Now, Dino Beatdown is a class-based cooperative survival shooter. It takes place in huge open worlds where each world contains four bases for you to secure and defend. Here's a rundown of what you can expect on day one. Taking to the skies and getting into high-velocity gunfights sound like your thing? Then the jetpack equipped assault class is just for you. He's a natural-born leader and an expert in all areas of combat. His ability upgrade is the Hummer ability, which allows you to activate a hover mode for the jetpack. He comes equipped with frag grenades and a CB-10 pistol. Now, if sneaking around unnoticed is your thing, then the recon class is perfect for you. As a stealthy assassin, she comes equipped with a cloaking device that allows for hidden movement and the ability to shoot silenced weapons. Enough credits can unlock a ninja upgrade, which allows for twice the movement speed while cloaked. She starts with an EMP grenade, which can shut down and power up all sorts of devices. She also starts off with a CV-10 silence pistol. If you're all about having your teams back, then the support class is a must. He comes equipped with a medical gun, which can be used on your teammates and yourself. He's the go-to person when you need extra firepower or extra health. His ability upgrade is the engineer ability, which allows him to also heal vehicles and items. He starts with smoke grenades, which create defensive barriers that dinosaurs typically avoid. He is also the only class with two starting weapons, including the Trek 12 combat shotgun and the M40 Magnum. With the launch of Orion Dino Beatdown, we're going to have three types of player shops available. The first is the barracks. This structure serves many functions, including the respawn location. The inventory stations inside the barracks allow you to purchase new ability upgrades and character perks, including augmented strength, armor, and agility. We'll be introducing more through free title updates. The garage is the place to go when you need to get a new ride. We'll be adding new vehicles over time and introducing new vehicle upgrades in a title update coming shortly after the game's commercial launch. At launch, we're going to be offering four vehicles, including Dragonfly Hoverbikes, which are a scouter's favorite. That thing is made for speed. And then there's the Gladiator Combat Button, which allows three people in at once, a passenger and a driver. And then there's the Cobra Man, which is a heavy weapon and powerhouse. And then finally, there's the Falcon VTOL, which brings down fire from above with dual miniguns and dual rocket pods. The Armory is the weapon shop. Here, you're able to purchase new weapons, grenades, and weapon upgrades here. We're going to be offering a wide range of weaponry, including pistols, magnums, SMGs, rifles, sniper rifles, machine guns, shotguns, and then you have the adrenaline weapons, such as the rocket launcher, laser rifle, and energy carbine. We'll also be introducing new weapons, new weapon upgrades, and grenades over time in free title updates. Orion Dino Beatdown launches Friday, April 20th, this year. That's just in time for the weekend. <laughs> so tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your grandma, tell everybody it's time to hunt some dinos. Get locked and loaded and ready to roll out. April 20th, 999. See you there.